Welcome in this session. We are going to learn how to schedule the daily backup of PostgreSQL using PG underscore dump all. So we will directly start with the demo and uh, as usual everything is uh, mentioned on a notepad and uh, we are going to go through it step by step. Uh, this is especially dedicated to my friend uh, Benjamin Equa. So uh, we have a business requirement though this is not the best case for the uh, uh, this is not the best case for your production environment but this is for uh, a development or uh, test system wherein you wanted to schedule a daily backup at uh, 2200 hours after uh, business hours and you wanted to take a backup of the entire cluster using pg underscore dump all and you have a requirement to keep those backups on to the operating system for 30 days. So I have the PostgreSQL uh, instance already available. It is running on EC2. If you say PSQL and just check the size of the uh, user database, uh, this is, uh, where is the plus? Okay. So you can see that DVD rental, this is only one, um, user database and it is the size is 15 MB. So what we need to do is uh, we need to schedule a backup on the daily basis and also need to find out how much storage might be required to retain for 30 days. Just for this case, wherein on the uh, database at the uh, Postgre level, it is showing it is occupying 15, uh, 15 MB. And if I check this command as well, if I execute this uh, query as well, it is showing you the 15 MB size. So for 30 days, it is going to have 450 megabytes, which is in the uncompressed format. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a compressed backup and this is the default installation. And if you see, this is the home. Uh, so if I simply say, cd or echo dollar home this is the home location and uh, what we need to do is we'll quickly go through the script and then we will create it so we need to make a directory where you can store your script so i wanted to keep it under the home directory uh, and wanted to create a directory called as a script so let's create it quickly let me clean the screen and I'll say I've created the script directory and then what we are going to do is though it already exists uh, just go to this location CD to this location and let's see the flow of the script uh, this shell script is to backup all databases of PostgreSQL cluster running on the host name so this is until so uh, when this executes it will show you uh, the okay this is not this is in hash and so I should have written the echo or uh, let me say echo yes all right and uh, we are setting the environment variables we are saying this is the backup location so I have postgre 12 and I wanted to keep the backup in the default location because it's, it's just a demo and uh, I do not have any dedicated uh, backup file system if you have it please mention the location at this particular uh, part in your script then we are going to create the file system in case this location doesn't exist so you simply say you just mention this and you create this location so you say mkdir hyphen p though it already exists but it is going to execute step by step when this script is executed. The next step which is going to happen is the retention period. So for 30 days, so we have set a variable which is retention underscore period equal to 30. And email notification is going to email list which is email skills at gmail.com. And backup dump, the backup dump is going to be written in dollar backup directory which is my this location, backup location and the format of the backup which is getting created is all uh, dbs then host name then the date format date month year hours minute and dot sql so this is the backup dump and there is a zip file which will be uh, immediately uh, followed after this so that will be in dot zip format 
and we are going to uh, delete the uh, files which are older than 30 days and uh, it, it is saying uh, if uh, when this uh, pg dump uh, runs it is going to create the backup dump and it is in dot sql format then it will show echo the pg dump uh, backup all executed successfully else it is going to send an email and once this uh, this is successful it will go to zzip it will go to backup dump location it will uh, zip it and then it will say the backup was uh, successfully compressed else it will send an email notification so all the failures will be reported then it is going to remove the original uh, sql file and then it is going to uh, send an email that uh, full database backup was completed uh, successfully on that particular hostname so let me create this script so we will say this is the script though it already exists let me delete all of them copy it from here till here copy this and this is done so if you go to this location if you say ls and ltr you say ch mode 700 and this is the script now we can execute it so when when you're running it for the first time run it using uh, the uh, sh hyphen x so that it will show you if all the uh, steps are executed inside that script else uh, uh, it will help in you identifying what has failed so sh hyphen x and the script name so everything is done the mail x is not going to work because it is not integrated and full database backup was successfully created on okay this should have been okay the host name is not picked up uh, that's fine let us go to this location and this is the current time 1249 and 1249 this is the backup so this is all dbs hyphen this is the host name and uh, then it starts with the uh, date month year hours and minutes dot zip so this is created successfully what you next need to do is just do cron tab minus e and you need to schedule it so just to schedule it you should have the access to the cron job and we are saying schedule is 22 hours every day and we will mention three stars star 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 every day 2200 hours and the name of the script the name of the script was uh, daily backup all dot sh so this is just the basic so it is going to run at 2200 hours uh, system time so it is 12 so another uh, it's almost 10 hours from now yes it is going to execute and it will uh, uh, put it in this format and it, it is going to zip it the original dot sql file will be removed and this is how you can schedule this is just the basic no uh, no much uh, formatting has been done or no logic is there if there are some issues it is just going to report you over the email the all successes will lead to the next step otherwise the failure you will be reported over the email so you can try it out in your, in your environment and uh, this is going to help i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you